All right, thank you so much, Danny. We're already talking because look at what we have here. Jason teased you about it earlier. This is an iconic car. And you know, I never thought, like Jason said, I never thought we would have a car in this parking lot. Dave? Trust me. Out of Talk all, to me about it. 19 years I've been on KUSI, mm -hmm. and I brought some pretty, pretty unusual stuff into, into the station. This is the best. This is the iconic. I will keep this DVD and CD and VHS and 8-track for the rest of my life. For anyone missing out and doesn't understand, recognize what this car is, explain it to us. Well, tell them about it. Well, well should we let you talk about it? Let's have the owner sure, talk why about not? it. I think why really, don't you, Sean should discuss Introduce this car. Introduce Sean. Okay, all right. Who's Sean? Okay, Sean is the owner of the car. His dad originally uh, was the owner. Tell and the I'm going to let you go from there I mean, because he tells the story. Yeah, so it's been in my family since 1974. Uh, my uh, father bought it. It was in a classified ad in the back of Road and Track magazine. Um, and yeah, to know my father, he called the guy, met with him, bought it, drove off. That was it. And, and the guy to, was? Uh, the second owner, uh, right. second owner's uh, name's Frank, right. and uh, still talk to him to this day. Amazing gentleman, and it, it, believe it or not, he was a police detective named Frank. He was in New Jersey, not ah. San Francisco, ah. but um, an amazing guy. And then my mom and dad drove the car. It was their daily driver through the 70s. Uh, they put roughly 47,000 additional miles on it. Um, she's got 65,000 miles on it now, but my mom's a third grade Catholic school teacher, and this was her daily driver. And uh, that part of the story I love because- I think that's the great yeah, story. Yeah, it was, it was their family car. And uh, in 1980, uh, it got parked, a couple things were going on with it. Doesn't really make a practical family car. Um, so we had parked it, I was born. And then through the 80s and 90s, uh, she sat in the garage. And then uh, my father sadly passed away uh, four years ago. And at that time, the car was in a million pieces. We had taken it apart together. And, uh, you know, it, it, one of the hardest things I think that I've ever had to do is put a car back together that my father and I took apart and, uh, and something I knew the whole world was gonna see. Right. Uh, so for me, that was extremely tough. So through a couple of inspirational things um, and, and just honestly, with the stars being aligned properly, uh, I was able to put the car back together, authenticate it through Kevin Marty and then McKeel Haggerty and then also the Historic Vehicle Association. Um, and then we all more or less approached Ford and built a 50th anniversary that I know you got a chance to play with a couple weeks ago. Uh, and just an absolutely amazing thing for them to build a car wow. kind of dedicated to my father. Uh, and preserving this thing through history. You know, the folks at home are actually getting to see why this car is so famous because we still haven't named the car nor the movie that it is from. So it is going to be here at uh, where? It's going to be at San Diego Air and Space Museum, part of our speed exhibit. Mm -hmm. uh, we took on an obligation, remember, about 10, 11 months ago to bring really cool stuff to San Diego. And this is really kind of that piece of the resistance. It's, uh, it's absolutely something we never hey, expected hey Jim, to have. Not to interrupt, I just want to, our camera guy is showing these kind of butchered cutouts. Right. <laughs> Explain to him what these butchered cutouts are for. Yeah, so the camera mount, or the camera that was Cameras. mounted on the hood, that was the wiring that was running through for power. That's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not the prettiest thing, but you know, you do what you gotta do when you're making a movie. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just had no, to bring no, no. that. So and when people are at the museum checking this car out, I'm sure you'll have the hood up. Yeah, yeah. And so you'll be able to take a look at it and see. And let's talk a little bit about the charger. Now we had, you know, we didn't have one. You didn't have one, but this gentleman was nice enough to donate. He doesn't really want to be on TV, which is perfectly fine. So it's a local car, so you may see it at car shows on occasion. Now, when you do, you can say, "Ooh." <laughs> well, and Ooh. we actually plan on bringing a Dodge Charger into the exhibit. Right. Okay. You with the stole with his the yet? with the fame. I want to get car. out of the way so you can actually see this beautiful car. And if you haven't seen the movie, it's, there's a million ways to find it. Are you going to have copies of it down at the museum for we purchase? Are. We are. Name yeah. of the movie. Name of the car. Bullet. Bingo. 68 Mustang yeah. Bullet car. How's that? Is Absolutely. That yeah. Our whole life, we've uh, that's her name is Bullet. And if you and, look at the yeah. rear license plate. Uh, great story. Your mother. Yeah, so my for my mom and dad's 10 year anniversary, my mom just, you know, and to hear her tell the story, it was easy as, you know, can be. She went down to the DMV and uh, in 1979 uh, had gotten a uh, vanity license plate that says bullet. 
And of course, it's one L instead of two L's because that's as many you could fit on there in, in 79. <laughs> and uh, Dad never wanted to put it on the car to bring you know awareness that it was bullet. So those actually hung in my, uh, my room my whole life. This is so cool. Wow. I feel like there's so many stories that we can tell about this. This car, this iconic car from uh, arguably the most famous and exciting race scene Casey, ever. Absolutely. And it's going to be in the museum at, yep. after 12 noon today. Okay, okay. 12 noon, until the San 19th. Diego, Air and Space. But on November 15th, there's going to be an evening with Sean oh, great. and the car. Wow. So look at it on our website, San Diego Air and Space Museum.org. And uh, and you'll 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 want to come to that event, right. and you're going to hear all of the stories in a little Q and A. And by the way, I think Dave Stoll, the car guy, is going to be emceeing. Are you going to be there too? Absolutely. Right. Are you kidding? When Wait. you see the shirt, I'm going to wear that night. Oh boy! <laughs> like anybody's going to be looking at you when that's I in the house. Know come it. on, Dave. Exactly. All right. So November 15th, at San Diego Air and Space Museum. You're going to get to hear all the stories behind this iconic car and much more. And pictures. Hey, why not? Can I drive it? No. <laughs> Very good. I like the way you do that. He didn't even hesitate there. All right, Good Morning San Diego continues after the break. Stick around.